Vengurla is a small coastal town in Sindhu Durg district of Maharashtra. This town bordering Goa is rich in marine biodiversity. Sea turtles, corals, whale sharks, dolphins, they all find refuge here. Tourists flock the region to get a sight of these rare marine species. But the influx of tourists also poses another challenge. Solid waste. Solid waste, if not treated before uh, disposing it of in uh, sea, uh, it causes marine pollution. It also adversely affects fisheries and also the marine ecosystem gets adversely affected. Vengurla generates 7 tons of waste every day. Out of this, nearly 5 tons is dry waste that includes mainly plastic. This poses a major threat to marine creatures. To address this issue, the Maharashtra Mangrove Cell, along with UNDP, partnered with Vengurla Municipal Council and started working on a waste management plan. The mangrove cell installed a plastic crusher machine at a waste management site managed by Vengurla Municipal Council. Plastic crusher machine मध्ये मुख्यत्वे plastic bottles सोडून रिस plastic जमा देखे दूध पिशी दूध पिशवी साली कि वह यहाँ सारे plastic ही crush केले जाता ही crush केले ला plastic अपन नगर परिषदे तील हद्दी मध्ये नगर परिषद हद्दी मध्ये जे नवीन रोड बांधले जाता ते सर्व कॉन्ट्रॅक्टरांना कंपल्सरी केले आहे की नगर परिषदेने जो क्रश केलेला प्लास्टिक आहे तो तुम्हाला रोड मध्ये यूज करावे लागेल टुडे नियरली 180 किलोज ऑफ प्लास्टिक वेस्ट गेट्स प्रोसेस्ड एट द सेंटर एव्हरी डे ड्यू टू दिस इनिशिएटिव वेंगुरला हैज 12 किलोमीटर्स ऑफ रोड्स मेड यूजिंग सच प्लास्टिक the mangrove cell has also supported creation of a biodigester facility at the waste management site. Today, this town with a population of 12,000 people manages to segregate all its waste at source. And it is this achievement that helped Vengurla Municipal Council win the prestigious Vasundhara Award. From a place where waste management never received proper attention, Vengurla has converted an open landfill site into a lush green park. To improve solid waste management practices across Sindhudurg, the mangrove cell has also provided over 50 dustbins to Malvan Nagar Parishad and Kunkeshwar Gram Panchayat. For any successful waste management initiative, it is important to sensitize the local communities and the tourists. In a step towards this direction, the mangrove cell has initiated a clean beach campaign. The mangrove cell has also roped in local youth to carry out cleanup activities underwater. They have tied up with the Indian Institute of Scuba Diving and Aquatic Sports to train locals for scuba diving. The locals were also involved in removing abandoned fish nets from the ocean. They recovered around 2 lakh square meters of ghost nets across the region. Seeing the success of this initiative, the underwater cleanup activity was also introduced on a pilot basis in Mumbai as well. So far, they have organized over 15 cleanup drives across the beaches in Sindhudurg. They also carried out a three year campaign to clean up the mangroves in Maharashtra. During this period, they cleared over 8,000 tons of garbage, covering over 11 square kilometers of mangrove forest. This initiative even found a mention in the Limka Book of Records. They have now taken up regular cleanup of beaches across state with the support of students, NGOs, corporates, citizens and the local administration. They have also been carrying out regular mangrove cleanup activities at many ecotourism sites such as the Thane Creek Flamingo Sanctuary. Karinze, 
Divya Gar, Tara Mumbri, and many more. But changing habits of people take a lot of time, and hence it is important to remind people about the plastic pollution they are causing. The mangrove cell has been promoting wall paintings and art installations using waste materials to create awareness about the harmful effects of plastic pollution on marine life. They have now roped in local artists to create paintings on pollution. The mangrove cell hopes that a combination of awareness, innovation and partnerships can go a long way in building a sustainable future.